Now, the House of Representatives has promised to forge a cordial relationship and partnership with the development partners on capacity building for lawmakers and the media towards the success of the 10th Legislative Assembly. Speaker of the House, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, made the promise during a visit by development partners, both local and foreign, to his office in Abuja. Our correspondent, Emmanuel Ehijani's report is presented from our studios. According to the representatives of the various organizations, the visit is to brainstorm on ways to ensure that the 10th legislative agenda as encapsulated by the speaker during his swearing is achieved. While welcoming the guests to his office, the speaker enjoined them to take a good look at the agenda with a view to finding areas of collaboration that will be of benefit to Nigerians. We have observed that over the years, some of you have had to engage different committees and departments of the House of Representatives to sometimes organize programs without a coordinated approach or needs assessment of the House. The assumption is that each development partner has its own area of focus for which budgetary provisions would have been made, and their representatives in Nigeria would engage the relevant committees of the House in that regard. While that support is greatly appreciated, there is the need now for coordination in the 10th House of Representatives because of our peculiar challenges of capacity gaps. In their response, the development partners assured of continued support for the National Assembly, stressing that areas of governance, rule of law and security will be the centre of focus as well as in the area of accountability, amongst others. We engage in a broad number of areas, including the delivery process in the National Assembly, constitutional amendment process, electoral reforms. We are passionate about the involvement of women and youth in elections and the democratic process. Um, and of course on issues on, of uh, anti-corruption, for instance, the kind of work that we've done on the audit deal previously with uh, the Public Accounts Committee. These areas and number of areas will be happy to uh, work you to, particularly the uh, special advisor and the, um, and the new unit that has been set up uh, will be willing to engage. Uh, just finally, just also to mention that the legislative agenda uh, will be firmly involved and we have participated actively and provided technical assistance through that process and will be willing to engage to ensure the uh, effective implementation of the agenda. I, I'd just like to kind of underscore as well that um, the creation of this program management unit is, is something that we really welcome. I think um, to be able to kind of articulate where your priorities lie and to then have a, a, a unit that is actually can maybe further expand those and also coordinate the work of the international community I think can bring in um, um, additional stakeholders and also can really help us also to, uh, to maximize efficiencies as well so we're not uh, duplicating and we're, and we're also very much lockstep in terms of what you want to happen. The speaker then urged them to come up with a program that will integrate and aggregate all ideas in form of a calendar for proper coordination. I think one thing that is obvious for us to actually make further headway is to find a way of integrating all your activities. Uh, the way we do it in the past is not yielding the desired uh, results, even though on um, Fractional basis, we might be appreciating what you are doing, but on a global scale, we are not seeing the kind of picture that Nigerians are supposed to see because we are doing them in a not too coordinated manner. Also present at the event were the Policy and Advocacy Center, PLAC, Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, order paper together with British High Governance and the United Nations Development Program. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.